Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I don't really know where to begin. Um, so we're gonna start with uh, a few questions. Uh, I got a little, a little quiz for y'all. Um, so we've been talking about the right to vote. I just need a yes or no from each of the witnesses and we'll start with Ms. Weiser. Is voting a constitutionally protected federal right? Yes, it's constitutionally protected through multiple yes, provisions. You, okay. Ms. Evans, yes or no? Yes. Mr. Spies, yes or no? Yes. And Mr. Cuccellini, yes or no? It is constitutionally protected. Okay, thank you. Um, we've heard a lot of talk today about things such as buying alcohol. Ms. Weiser, is alcohol a federally protected constitutional right? It is not. Ms. Evans? It is not. Mr. Spies? No. Mr. Cuccellini? Uh, Cuccinelli. Cuccinelli. You need an ID to buy it, but no. Okay, all right. And finally, uh, we like to talk about guns, or at least some people in this building love to talk about guns. Guns, is there a, an amendment dealing with guns in our federal constitution? Yes. Ms. Evans? Yes. Mr. Spies? Spies, yes. Spies. And yes, sir? Yes, there is, and you need an ID to buy it. Okay, so let's talk about it. So I hail from the great state of Texas, and what's interesting to me is we always want to talk about privileges and compare what is required for a privilege versus comparing what is required for a constitutionally protected right under our federal constitution. And it's interesting that in this chamber, we love to talk about the Second Amendment and, and we wanna make sure that everyone has guns, and we only have one amendment in our constitution that deals with guns, and it's the Second Amendment. And Professor Weiser, you were just about to say we have multiple provisions, so you were messing up my test a little bit. Um, so I'm not gonna let you answer the question. I'm gonna go down here to these experts. Let's start and go the other way. Do we know how many amendments actually address voting in our constitution? Uh, well, it depends how you count them, but you could say three, fifth, okay. 14th, 15th. Okay. Mr. Spees? Plus the DC I, amendments. And maybe first. Yeah. Yes, I would agree with that. Okay, Professor, go ahead and break it down. I, I believe it's six. There we go, there we go. So we got the 14th, we got the 15th, 17th, wait a minute, did I mess up? 19th, 24th, and 26th, there we go. All right, so we have six amendments. 23rd. And, and every time we dealt with an amendment dealing with voting, we were expanding upon access. Is that not correct? That is correct. That is the history of this country. Expanding okay. The, the history is to expand, but obviously there are some folk that want to rewrite history and make sure we go back in time. So let's also talk a little bit more about history for a couple of seconds. There was this little thing called the Voting Rights Act. Are you familiar with that? Yes, I am. Are you also familiar with this thing called uh, Bloody Sunday? Yes, indeed. Okay, so are you familiar with the fact that there are black folk that died in this country to make sure that black folk had access to the ballot box? Yes, that is correct. Are you also familiar with the fact that probably around 1913 or sometime around there, there was maybe a women's suffrage march? <laughs> yes, yes. And that was a fight, again, for women to have access to the ballot box, was it not? Yes, it was. Okay, so we have had, throughout history, these fights to make sure that everyone is accessing the ballot box, but seemingly, when it comes down to, say, guns in this country, which are the number one killer of children in this country, we haven't had half as many hearings about guns as we've had on voting rights. And every time we seemingly have a hearing on voting rights, we're talking about the fact that people are cheating. So let's talk about who's cheating. I got a few articles. Uh, are you familiar with the fact that there was recently a settlement with this uh, little news company called Fox News? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, that was for about 780 something million dollars. Was it because they were lying about the, the elections? Yes, it was for a... Um, okay, there we go. I'm running out of time, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, there also was this article, because I don't want us to base anything on Georgia at all. Please, Jesus, not Georgia. Okay, because Georgia purged 87,000... Will the gentlewoman yield? Not, I think I Georgia not, matters. I will not yield. I am reclaiming my time. All right, so there were 87,000 people that were purged that were legitimate voters. So, no, we don't want to copy off of Georgia. 
Um, also, another GOP voter admits he committed fraud. Another one in Pennsylvania, man who admits he voted for Trump with his dead mom's name because he listened to too much propaganda. The gentlelady's time has expired.